check it out. We got some shade. And look where we are. We're in the Bahamas. We have been working our butts off for the past month straight, doing boat work, building this bimini, doing a bunch of repairs and upgrades on the boat, and trying to take care of all our other obligations while we're in Florida. And we had this weather window and we were scrambling to get everything done and everything just kind of lined up for us in terms of finishing our projects at the very last minute. It just kind of worked out and we even got this bimini mounted and, and we left last night. We left Jupiter around 10. We motored down the Intracoastal to Palm Beach Inlet and we went out the inlet at 12 at night and sailed straight across. We got past West End at about, what, 8 in the morning? 8 a.m. We had an amazing sail. The first third was pretty calm and we motored a lot. And then the second two thirds were, we had some nice west-northwest wind pickup and generally you don't wanna cross the Gulf Stream in uh, anything with the north in it, but it was just starting and we were going with it and we were just surfing down the waves. We got a new speed record. Oh, go ahead, sorry, tell them. We got a new speed record. 13.1, I think it said. Oh, I saw 13, I didn't see 13.1. 13.1, new speed record. The Gulf Stream might have had something to do with that, but we weren't really going with it. We were going against it. We were almost going against it. So I'm gonna call that a solid 13 knots. We were surfing, we were surfing a lot. Felt so good surfing with this boat, didn't it? It never feels like it's gonna broach or, or feel out of control. It just feels good. It was actually fun. I was hand steering for the last hour trying to catch the waves and it was pretty fun. I have to say I'm more, absolutely more impressed than I ever thought I was, could be with this boat. Very, very impressed. Yep, she handled well and it was comfortable. It was really comfortable. We got up onto the bank and instead of checking in at West End, we just continued to cruise because we didn't want to get stuck in West End uh, for the next week or whatever with this nasty weather. So we cruised and we're anchored. Yeah. We're Yankee. We were anchored right off of Yankee Key in the Abacos. We weren't able to make it to Green Turtle or Spanish Key today to check in, so we're not checked in yet. We'll get to that in a minute. So we're not allowed to go to land yet. We're just anchored out. We're going to wake up in the morning, cruise down the Green Turtle, I believe, check in, and then that begins our Bahamas adventure. We're just having some appetizers. So we're not checked in yet. Which means we're not allowed to go to land. Which also means that we have to fly this flag here. This guy here. That all yellow flag is called the Q flag or... The quarantine flag. And so that's what you fly when you get into Bahamian waters or any foreign waters. And it's just to kind of signal that you're not checked in yet. So as soon as we got into Bahamian waters, we put that flag up. We're not allowed to go to land. And we have to keep that flag up until we're checked in. And then we put up a different flag. So this is the next flag we put up after we're checked in. That is our we have cleared customs and we are allowed to be here flag. And it's called, so this is the Bahamian courtesy flag. And this is their actual national flag, just this one little corner here. But this is their marine courtesy ensign and sign. This is the one as guests that we fly on our starboard shroud to show our respect for cruising in their waters. And then when we go back to the US, we'll do the same thing. We have to fly the yellow quarantine flag until we're checked back into the US and then we just fly our normal American flag. Now we can still fly this flag here in the Bahamas, um, but we also are supposed to fly their courtesy flag. Well, there you have it. That's what the courtesy flag is and the yellow quarantine or Q flag. We just woke up to our first of many nights in the Bahamas and we were actually awoken by Bahamian fishermen wanted to know if we wanted to buy some lobster and conch. So we did. And Billy's pulling up the anchor right out there. And we also have some big news. This girl went to the bathroom on the boat last night.
had an unbelievable sale today. We're almost in Green Turtle and it's been super windy straight out of the north. So right at our stern, a little off our quarter maybe. And we've been sailing all day long with just the full Genoa out and just cruising. I don't know, our top speed's like 11 or 12 knots today and we're probably averaging close to eight knots and just surfing down all these little waves and it's it's just been an amazing day. Sun's out, a little cooler with the wind, but still beautiful. We're in some Bahamian blue water and we're so excited to be here. We can't wait to check in, get JD walking around a bit and explore. We're almost there, can't wait. All right, we're docked up in Settlement Creek. That was a little scary. Super low tide, super windy docking. Ugh. Our depth finder was going <laughs> Got some cash for the customs people because it cost. This is our first year having to pay 300. We normally only have to pay 150. And we got our book with all our passports and Jetty's permit and our boat information. Wish Jetty us luck. All right, we're all checked in. Everything went smooth. We're clear to explore and sail and fish and dive around this beautiful country. So time to put up our flag. We left the dock in that other harbor. It's called Settlement, Settlement Harbor where we checked in. We're going a little bit north, still on Green Turtle Key, a place called White Sound. And we've anchored here before last year. So we're kind of familiar with it over here. It's, it's better holding than the, the Southern Harbor and we don't need a mooring. So hopefully it's not too crowded and there's a nice spot for us to anchor and we'll be super protected in here. We'll be able to go to land and actually walk around, explore, check out the beach. So we're getting to the ocean side for the first time here on Green Turtle and it, there are some huge waves out there. It's been nasty conditions for a few days and you can see it. It's like, it's still super hard wind out of the north. Monster waves on the outer reef. Crazy. What do you think? You wanna go for a surf? Definitely not going out today. We might actually go for, I might go for a kite. Will you go for a kite? No. We'll see how the conditions are. And uh, it's pretty cool being back here on Green Turtle. If you guys followed us, what? Last, uh, this past spring. May, June? Oh, almost a year ago, nine months ago, we were here and this is where we made it to on the trawler Neverland. We're and the, picking up where we left off. Yeah, because we had to turn around last time because the weather was getting nasty and then we went straight home. But we're picking up exactly where we left off here at Green Turtle Key. to find the most sheltered place on the beach because it's windy. So when we're in the Bahamas, we don't have, or at least right now, we don't have any cell service besides our satellite phone or like data service. So we don't go on Instagram or Facebook or any of that stuff. So we've been reading. And I've been very productive editing some video. 
it's awesome. It's just relaxing. It forces us to focus on either being productive or just reading or relaxing and not being distracted by stupid stuff like social media, which we make our living from. <laughs> uh, we are so pumped to be back here in the Bahamas, here at Green Turtle, anchored out, and we're super excited to have you here with us. We want to thank you guys for coming along, and if you guys haven't had a chance yet, check out the Tula Shop. What can they find in the Tula Shop, Sierra? Calendar, beanies, t-shirts, and sweatshirts. Sierra's adventure calendar, which we, there's only like 20 left, I think, right? So get yours. I know, I know it's a couple months into the year, but there's still some cool pictures that apply year round and it's a pretty cool calendar. Check it out. We'll see you guys later. Good night.